As a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? A film star, a doctor, maybe a teacher? Well, in a world where girls are told they can do anything when they grow up, one mother has caused a stir by saying that she would rather her daughter marry a rich man than get a university degree. And she believes that most mothers secretly hope for the same. So, is this true? Is this what we all want for our daughters? No. Go on, be louder. <laughs> Anything wrong? Well, you've got boys, of course, Anne. I've got Anything... boys, so I don't even have to think about it. <laughs> Anything wrong with aspiring to be a cat Actually, woman? I've got a very, very good friend who has got a daughter who has just graduated from university. She's very beautiful and very clever, as you're meant to be nowadays if you're a girl. Yeah. Yeah. The pressure is there already. <clears throat> but secretly, her mum has confided to me that really, I mean, she's terribly proud of her daughter, but what she really would love her to do is meet a lovely, gorgeous man who'll look after her, so she'll never have to worry again. And she won't have to worry about money, and there won't be the pressure of work, and she just... What, she's seen her graduate, and she's proud of the graduation photographs, but what she most wants to see is her married to a lovely, lovely man. Who'll look after her. Who'll look after her. That's look the word. Who'll look after her. Yeah, mm. we're back to fairy tales, aren't we? Yes. You know, we're back to Prince Charming and the little yeah. princess and, and all the but rest you know, of is it. But, you know, should we deny that of ourselves? If that's what we secretly desire for ourselves or yeah. for our daughters, should we deny that? I, I think if that's what you secretly mm. want for yourself, that's fine. Well, There's it's interesting wrong. you say that. Sorry to interrupt, but yeah. just this woman in writing it, she said, uh, she's talking about the ideal life. She said, that is the life that I covet for my daughter. She's got a really lovely lifestyle, though, hasn't she? She's yeah, got a three-bedroom house. She goes to the Caribbean all the time. Yeah. Her and her husband work and that. They've got a good income coming in all the time. Yeah, but and she, she's coveting a life for her daughter. Actually, well, it's the no, life she covets for herself. Did, what she's is, doing yeah. is she's taking away choice from her daughter. It's yeah. fine if she gives her the opportunities where she can be educated mm. and she can have the dreams to have whatever. But if you take away the choice, you don't really need to be educated. What happens if she doesn't find a rich husband? Yeah. How's she going to put food on the table for herself? Yeah, but yeah. do we do we allow our daughters to have that choice? Maybe we put the pressure on them to be independent, to be financially independent, well, to have your own career, you're and to feel... not want to be you're... kept, when maybe some daughters want to be yeah, Actually, you're making me feel really guilty. I was walking along the, uh, the other day with my little one, Kiki, and she was talking about somebody that had been having a big argument, somebody in our family, and she said to me, Mummy, why doesn't she just leave him? And, I, and I'm walking along, striding along the road, holding her hand, and I went into this diet, well... Well, she's left herself financially, so she can't. She hasn't got any money, because she hasn't got a job. So you never, ever depend on anyone for money. And I'm like this, I'm sweating, my adrenaline's pumping. I'm giving my daughter this amazing life lesson. It's always have your exit plan, have your money in your pocket. <laughs> and I looked down at this poor child. <laughs> He's looking at So actually, it's quite a good point, because who knows? My daughter might grow up to want to do, to do that, and that's OK, but you have to give them the choice, yeah. otherwise. Yeah. She's, actually she's actually chose a partner for her daughter already. It's a little boy yeah. called George. And she's only six months old, She's only daughter. six months old, well, It's a bit of pressure on and George. I know, it? yeah, and she's also friends with the mum of George. And, yeah. and the mum of George has got, like, a three-acre house. Horses, You've been researching this, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, you know, I mean, Lauren married... My daughter's been married for the last three years, and he's an electrician, you know, like, and they're very happily married. She's worked all her life, Lauren, yeah. you know. She's... She, she works and she does all the house and the ha like looking after Lila and everything and they're very happy. You should just want them to meet someone and fall in love, no matter what happens, yeah. what background they have. I mean, what if he's stinking rich and he's a vile, controlling, horrible yeah. man that does not cherish her daughter? Would she advise her daughter to still stay with him because he's got the wonga? Yeah, I mean, I, I, to be, I mean, uh, for me, I just cannot believe that we're still talking about this. I mean, it feels like we're in some kind of costume drama yeah. of a hundred years ago. Um, <laughs> because I just didn't grow up with that. I mean, my mum always worked. I mean, my mum and dad had a business, and they were both absolutely equal partners, and so it was just never part of our yeah, family but conversation. But this, my mum, this might was, come from the fact that there is a generation now of women who thought you could have it all because that was what we were yeah. sold, and actually have found it. Really really hard, ever such hard work having it all. Well, well, huh. And yeah, then maybe you think for your daughter, I don't want her to have to struggle that hard. But so you want them to be dependent, yeah. you want them to be reliant on other people, you want them to be vulnerable, because if you're always dependent on other people, you are vulnerable. Well, why would you want young girls to be vulnerable? But I mean, also turning it around for you, Anne, with boys, mm. what kind of, if you were going to say, right, what kind of girl do I want for my boys? Are you looking for a princess that they can look after and, you know, she'll stay at home and bake Gosh. scones and, and they'll be... No. I, I, no, funnily enough, I think you look for something different if you're the mother of boys. Oh, it's interesting. I, what do you yeah. look for? Well, I don't know, but uh, 
uh, without wanting to drop them in it, because they will kill me when I get home. <laughs> but two of my boys who've got girlfriends, have got lovely girlfriends, and I really like them because they bring out the best in my sons. Yeah. I, it's almost like I like my sons even better when they're with those girls. Yeah. They, they, they are softer and more gentle when they're there. But whereas mm. with, when they were just with mum or with their brothers, they're all aggressive and arrogant. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love them to bits, but they are. And, um, but when they're with their girlfriends, they, they, these girls, they've chosen two beautiful girls who seem to bring out the best in them, and that's rather that's nice. And how do if you thought that got heated, wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well. It's totally free.